Alrighty guys, now we've got our probe and our cutter in, we've got our clamp in, and now the best step to do is a height calibration, and following um, that will be a cutting calibration. But first we'll do a height calibration. So what you'll need is to have your clamp M5 on side A, and just close that clamp as much as you can until you can't close it anymore. And now that's ready for your height calibration. Alrighty, now we've closed our clamp down the bottom. Now we have to go through the settings. So we click settings here and we go device calibration and we'll go down to here to height calibration. And it tells you to install the clamp and close it on side A, which we've already done. So all we'll have to do is click start. Once our calibration uh, is finished, the machine's done what it's doing, it'll give you up on the screen a big green tick, which means it is completed. Click OK, and that's the end of the high calibration. So now let's do a cutting calibration. These machines actually come um, calibrated out of the factory. However, it's always a good idea um, due to transit to actually calibrate it before you start using it. Okay, the way we do that is go through the settings, device calibration, and cutting calibration. So what you're gonna need for this is a blank Hon 66 blade, and it'll tell you where to put it. So it says clamp the blank Hon 66 blade on the clamp M5 on the third line on the A side. So we'll just do that now. Alrighty, so we'll open up our clamp, slide this to the middle line, which is the third line. Okay, here we've um, actually put a 1.5 mil cutter in and we're using a one mil pro. So in this case, we won't change anything and we'll just click okay. And the cutting calibration will start. Alrighty, so that's the first step of the calibration done. Um, we'll just show you the screen now and show you what you have to do for the next step. Alrighty, so it lets you know that the first step is done. We'll just click continue. And here it'll say to grab your brush and just clean off all of the uh, metal shards left. And then we'll have to click continue again. Because the machine works on conductivity, you just want to get rid of all of those, all of those shards. Okay. And now we'll just click continue on the screen and that will continue the calibration. Perfect, and that's the end of the calibration. Alrighty, so once we've put that probe cutter in and the clamp, one step to do just before that is actually let the machine know what cutter you've actually put in and also what probe. So the way you do that is go through the cutting settings so first we'll click settings on the machine and then go to cutting settings and then we'll go probe and cutter diameters. So here we've got a one mil probe diameter and a 1.5 mil cutter, which is what we've put in. So we'll just click save. If you did by any chance put a two mil or 2.5, you'll have to select those and just click save as well. So also in the cutting settings, if you are allowing multiple people to use the machine, a good idea is to actually activate the shield, um, which requires you to have that shield down before cutting. It's just a safety feature. Um, the way you do that is go shield detection and click that button. And that's it.